Welcome to our mini tutorial on releasing stranded users and tasks. This tutorial will explain how users and tasks might become stranded, common errors indicating stranded users and tasks, and how to release the stranded users or tasks. A user is stranded when the user is no longer in business works but the software believes that they are. A task can also become stranded when the software thinks something is running within BusinessWorks, but it is not. Some of the most common causes of stranded users or tasks can be canceling out of a report before it's done processing. Most reports have a cancel button at the bottom of the preview screen. Most of the time selecting to cancel the remaining build of the report will close the task, but sometimes this can leave the report open, therefore causing a stranded user. If anyone is using BusinessWorks and they are in a task, not just the launcher, and the power goes out or the power flickers, that user can also become stranded. Like a power loss, if someone's system locks up due to a resource issue or an error message, that user or task may become stranded. And if the BusinessWorks user is launching BusinessWorks from within a terminal session and they log out of the session before they log out of BusinessWorks, this will cause a stranded situation if they don't go back into that session and within a reasonable time frame and reset the user. From time to time, you may experience a stranded user or task in BusinessWorks. Some common symptoms of a user or task being stranded are the system tells you that a backup or restore cannot be performed because something is still running in BusinessWorks. You try to access or enter a transaction to a customer or vendor, employee, or part, and the system is, tells you that it's been locked by another user. Another issue is that you cannot launch BusinessWorks. You might get a no automation server or a network license limit error message when trying to log into BusinessWorks because the system still thinks that users are still using the BusinessWorks tasks. Besides the previous causes, some common errors that may indicate that you have a stranded user or task include Cannot perform the selected option when trying to access a task that requires an exclusive lock, such as trying to access a, a payroll task where the employee ID screen is open. You might also get a message like locked. This ID is being processed by another user when trying to access an entity record, such as a vendor, customer, part, job, or employee. You might get a message that the Sage BusinessWorks product is currently in use by other users on the network, or you might get a message that the Sage BusinessWorks program is currently running and to close all tasks. Both of these appear when trying to install product updates or service packs if a user has been stranded in the pro product. If you receive an error message when attempting to backup or restore along the lines of an error has occurred while adding an item to the backup restore archive, this can indicate that the lock uh, itself cannot be achieved and this would be another issue that would cause you to need to disconnect the users. Some other error messages also include file is locked, please, please wait network busy, and those are going to be error messages that you might receive during processing of transactions. Um, the last couple are when logging in. You might receive a network license limit has been reached when either um, launching a task or trying to log in. A cannot execute task due to a network license limit can also appear if you've used up those licenses, licenses with, a, with a stranded task. If you find it necessary to have to disconnect stranded users and tasks, the first thing that you will want to do is make sure that all users are logged out of BusinessWorks on all workstations, including the computer that you're on itself. Once that is complete, in order to disconnect the users, you're going to go to the Windows Start button, go to All Programs, go to Sage BusinessWorks, and then go to DB Register. Once this displays, you're going to highlight the BW System 1400 database. You're going to go ahead and click on Users. And you may notice that this screen might be blank. 
but if you're experiencing any symptoms of a stranded user, go ahead and click on disconnect all users to continue anyhow. When prompted with the warning, go ahead and say OK to disconnect all users. Once that query screen has gone away, you'll notice it will be blank. Go ahead and hit OK to close out of that screen and close again and then perform the task that you were receiving the, the uh, error message or were having the issue that led you to believe you had a stranded task. If disconnecting users still leaves you believing that you have a stranded task, the next item you would want to attempt is to stop and restart the pervasive engine. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. To restart the pervasive engine, the first thing that you are going to do is you are going to click on the Windows Start button. You are going to go to Administrative Tools, and this is on the server computer. Then you are going to go into the Services option. You can also find this under Control Panel, Administrative Tools, and then Services. What you're going to be looking for once the pervasive once the services screen opens is the pervasive engine. Now, if you are on a work work group edition of Sage Business Works, you'll see something a little bit different than if you were on the client server type of install. For this instance, we're on the client server install, so you'll scroll through your list until you see the two pervasive engines the pervasive relational and the pervasive transactional. To re restart these engines, you're going to right click and then you're going to choose the restart option. Once that is complete, you'll do the same thing to the second engine. If you are using a work group environment, the only item you'll see here is the pervasive PSQL work group engine. You would do the same process there. You would right click on the engine and choose to restart. Once that is complete, you will want to see if you can get past the item that was re you were receiving the message for that caused you to disconnect stranded users. Sometimes disconnecting users or stopping and restarting pervasive is not enough. There are times that require you to go to the server and close any open Sage BusinessWorks files to appear. We're going to now take a look at a live demonstration on how to close those open files. So to close open files, you are going to head to the server that's housing BusinessWorks. You are going to click on the Windows Start button. You are going to go into Control Panel. Select Administrative Tools. And then depending upon the operating system, you are either going to go into Computer Management or Share and Storage Management. If you're on Windows Server 2008, this process is going to be located under the Share and Storage Management. Once that option is selected, you're going to go to Manage Open Files, and then you'll see a listing of any files that, that are open by any users on your network. If there is an open file here that is referencing Sage BusinessWorks, select that file and click Close Selected File. Let's take a look at what it might look like on a server 2012 machine. I'm going to pull up the control panel. I'm going to select administrative tools and then you're going to select computer management. This is also true on Windows 7. You're then going to click on shared folders and then open files. And then again if any files are listed in here as open you would go ahead and select that file and then you would close that open file. Now that we've looked at how to disconnect stranded users using DB Register, how to stop and restart Pervasive, and how to close open files, I want to thank you again for viewing our presentation of how to release stranded users using Sage BusinessWorks. Thank you.